Hello everybody, we are the class of the next step. And today we are going to be playing a British game. And whoever wins will be crowned the United King. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see how many you lot at home. Seems to be about very bad. <laughs> For you lot playing at home, let's see how many you can get right. <laughs> so, for the first round, we're going to see if I know the names of these UK national treasures. <laughs> this is very... this is going to... okay. <laughs> Um, I, I've actually seen this woman, uh, saw her on the street <laughs> the other day. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that is the, is she like the fashion world? Like fashion designer, no. She's a designer. She is a talk show host. Lauren Nottingham the third. I thought. I thought she introduced herself. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> Wrong to everything. <laughs> oh, I knew that. I was. Listen, the game's starting right now. We're actually. We're gonna get into it now. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Miles would kill this game. This <laughs> so I'm not even close. <laughs> we're not. No. Okay. Perfect. We're doing great. This is it's only going up from here. My mom's from the UK. Like she's going to be very disappointed in me. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I've seen this man. He's uh he's very important. Famous for his voice. His voice because he is a well-known opera singer. It's George. Uh I call him Georgie, but he he goes by uh uh, George Minister. George Minister. And uh, yeah, I call him Georgie. He goes, oh, I love that. I probably know his voice too. Oh, wow. I didn't ever put a face to those voices. Maybe he does opera too. Do we know? Can he? Can he? Maybe? Let's stick with it. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I was like, hey, singing wouldn't be it because it's just too obvious. Okay, that's really cool. It's the most important person from the UK, I've heard. That is Harry Styles. Oh! Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Come on. Incredible icon. Yeah, Harry Styles. T-Pain. No, <laughs> that is Harry Styles. <laughs> his style is amazing and we love his music, so. I think, I think his style is incredible. Like, I wish I could pull off what he does and what he wears. It's great. But I loved him. I did just watch him in the show and it was the best thing ever and I did cry. Fun fact. Anyways. Is he, he's an actor. And he's a great one. But am I good with names? Most definitely not. Famous actor in well-known movies and TV shows. <laughs> Can I got, could I have gone more general? <laughs> no, that face was so familiar. Um really have no clue. Shay. <laughs> Shay. 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 Actor. He's definitely an actor. He's like the Doctor Strange or Doctor... Doctor... Sean. No, this is... I'm not getting good hints here. It's... It's Shane. I'm not sure. I, will, I, uh, okay, I don't know his name, but I know he's an actor and I know he's a Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Shooty Gatwa. Okay. Oh, good for him. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> so <fun. laughs> They look iconic as well. I feel like that that I would be a fan of them if I was from here. <laughs> <laughs> um here's the thing. A lot of the a lot of the groups, a lot of the groups uh, in the UK have like cool names. Those, that's the Spice Girls. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, is it the Spice Girls? 
Yeah. I was like, not the pussy cat dolls. Okay, yeah, it's just Spice Girls. <laughs> I feel like it's like the British equivalent of like my like Avril Lavigne. You know what I mean? Like that, that kind of energy. Off the off the top of my head, there's a group that I'm thinking of. I'm just gonna remix their name. Um, I think their name is Big Mix. <laughs> I know, I know, I know a group with a similar name. That's probably Big Mix. Am I right? <laughs> oh, they are the Spice Girls. I know the Spice Girls. I know exactly who the Spice Girls are. <laughs> um, that's Posh Spice, Scary Spice, Baby Spice. 45. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing because I do. <laughs> Sporty Spice. Um, oh gosh. Ginger? Ginger Spice? Ginger Spice? Spice Girls. Oh no. He's iconic too. Old friend. Another old friend. Oh, I don't know the name, which is like so bad because like. Loves UPC, but like just like don't know the name. <gasps> oh my gosh! Um. Oh. Uh. Uh. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's so bad. It's so bad. But I. I uh... He does bits with Alicia, and like I've seen those bits, and it's ah oh, it starts with this with an H. Uh, Hector. He I can see the name in my head. That right there, Haka, Haka the dog. That's my boy. I've done a couple episodes with him, a couple of segments. Yeah, best friends, we're like this. Hacker, okay. I knew it, see I knew it. But I've seen it, so like we, we knew where it was coming from. Hacker, right. Oh, can you feed me that and can I like know it? <laughs> can I just say it? I feel like it's a bad look. Like, all jokes aside, like, can I be like, oh, this, that, what was his name? Acker. Okay. Can I can I can we do that, please? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Acker the dog. Of course. Come on now. CBBC. Next step. <laughs>I know that us Canadians and Brits use different words for the same thing. So right now, we're gonna see if I can guess some of the words that you use for everyday items. Pants, but for you, trousers. So these right here are trousers. Okay, so we call them jeans or pants. I think you guys call them trousers. I got them on right now. These are my trousers. Is that it? Yeah, tr trousers, trousers. Huh? Huh? Yes. See that? That's a knit sweater. But here, it's a pullover. A knit? Uh... Well, what, I feel like, I know, like, what I know is like a jumper. Like a pullover? <laughs> oh, a jumper. Yes! You say jumper? So I got it right! Let's go! A jumper. 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 I got my pullover. It's called a pullover. Is that right? No! I see the picture and my brain is just shouting like what I would call it. And I'm trying to almost like drown that out. Candy for us. Lollies. Not lollies. I'm pretty sure <laughs> universally that's just candy. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say, i just say candy, treats. Guys, call them... Sweets? Yeah, sweets! <laughs> Not lollies. Sweets, yeah. Candy, treats, sweets. Oh! See, if you, I heard an incentive. This, you're doing it a harder way because if you said the word, I would be like, easy. Like, I would know exactly what you're talking about. But like the opposite, like coming up with what it's called. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Mm. Listen, it's a jar of, uh, of cookies, but it's biscuits. We've got biscuits over here. That one's biscuits. I know this one. And my name has them in a jar just like that. And yes, biscuits, easy. I would say biscuits. 
Yeah? Yes! Okay, 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 okay. You guys call them biscuits? <laughs> Sneakers, runners, all of the above. Running shoes. Like, you guys call them sneakers? Uh, Those are trainers. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. See? Okay, my. In, for us in Canada, it can be a lot of different things. So, like, I know it's one of these. So, it's like sneakers, runners. Trainers, trainers, runners, sneakers, trainers. I'm going with trainers. <laughs> I'm going with trainers. Yeah, it's right. Okay. Listen, I don't actually think I've ever said or heard about these in the UK. Call them sprinkles. I'm gonna call those either. I'm gonna say sparkles. I feel like you guys might call them sparkles. I got ice cream with some sparkles. I know this, I know this. Because it's we're sprinkles for us. It's not. Oh, it starts with a C. Mm. Over here, it is sparkles. <laughs> no? Okay. Sprinkles. Ooh. You guys call them something different? Hundreds and thousands. Hundreds and thousands. So, like. Could I get some ice cream with some hundreds and thousands? Just like that. Is, is, is that right? That's how I would say it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> oh, I knew that. I knew that. I did know that. Oh. Hundreds and thousands? That's like so many more, you know, syllables. Anyways, <laughs> hundreds and thousands. Love that. Hundreds and thousands? Really? Interesting. I've never heard that before. Very cool though. <laughs> um, to me, that looked pretty much like sausage and mash. I'm gonna just say sausage and mash. I'd say it's an English breakfast without baked beans, but to me, it almost looks like an English lunch. <laughs> sausage and potatoes? Sautetos. <laughs> Bang, is it mash? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> See, that's, I think. That's for my mom, because they're not can't get out of me. I knew something, right? We're gonna, we got it. Yes. Bangers and mash. Wow. That's really interesting. Bangers and mash. I also knew that. I also knew, I, no, no, no. I've been lying a lot of what I know, but that I should have known. Bangers and mash, yeah. Okay. Oh, the next step. They had a, bangers and mash up was in the UK. It was a dance competition. Spin off. I feel like, I feel like with like, just like, how how you you call things it's just catchy like everything is like so catchy and bangers and mash you know what i mean sweets jumper and now we're going to be guessing different landmarks across the uk i mean they're no seeing tower Yes, it was. Wait. That's the Big Ben. That's my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is that? I did not be able to. My head was the same way. That's, that's, uh, the that's the entire picture of the Eiffel Tower. I know that. I know San that. Francisco. I don't know. There's a beach that has to be the uh, Great Tower of uh, uh, Belfast. Belfast. Is he close? Oh, that looks like <laughs> Buckingham Palace. Guess that. Uh, he has no idea. He's, he he's no tapped idea. out now. He only knew those big men in Buckingham Palace. Yeah, so. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. Ocean. Honestly, I feel like. Oh. Isle of Man. That's where it is. <laughs> no. No. Is yeah. It, I don't know. Honestly, that's like my desktop background. I'm not like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That like, is my ass. That's, what, that's what my computer came with. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> great Wall of Britain. Yeah. The great, I was going to say the Great Wall of Britain. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. The great, 
The Great Wall of Britain. The Great Wall of Britain. Of the United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Shown pen. I don't think that was you that got that. Where is it? Where? Sure where is that? Where is that? Don't worry, that was the Where is it? No, you would get it. Where? Where? <laughs> You're right, cockers! Hi, Hi Ever heard of Cockney rhyming slang? It's a type of slang that originates from the East End of London. Rhyming phrases are used to replace key words. So let's get this right. Apples and pears, that means stairs. See? Quite simple really, isn't it? Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> let's get you Canadian cockers to have a go. Number one. Bees and honey. What do you think of that? Bees and honey. Um, I'm going to say... You're really funny? <laughs> I'm going to say uh, bees and honey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, um, let's go, let's go. You have no idea. No clue. Not a single, <laughs> not a single thought is popping. <laughs> bees and honey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, um, bees and honey. Let's go, uh, Roger the bunny. <laughs> Did you get the game? No. <laughs> It's gonna mean a sentence that's real. Yeah, don't know what bunch of bees and honey. Bees and honey. Uh, cash and money. So you're literally. Yeah. <laughs> so say it. Say thank you. <laughs> Is that you? Yes. <laughs> that's it, Noah, me old chum. Bees and honey, that means money. <laughs> that single thought is popping. Bees and honey, let's go, let's go. Number two, box of toys. Lovely Katie, now you have a go. Bunch of boys. <laughs> what is it, Katie? Since you know these. <laughs> is it like Since you know these Cockney riddles? Is it like girls and boys, or like something like that? Something in boys. I'm thinking of it. toys, boys, boys, boys. There's no boys, 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 toys. It's boys. Wrong, I'm afraid, Katie. Box of toys, that means noise! Noise. It's, it's what? Noise. noise. <laughs> Box of toys. Fancy <laughs> noise. Box of noise. Number three, early hours. What do you think of that, Briar? Hours. Hours. <laughs> Don't say flowers. <laughs> hours. Flowers. 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 <laughs> flowers. Lots flowers? of flowers? That's right. Early hours, that means flowers. Like the kind you get for someone you really like. <laughs> I'd get some for you, Briar. Oh, oh. Hours. That's adorable. Do people actually speak like this and sentence. use these in yeah, sentences? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd be London. so confused if it's yeah, I'd be like, but, do they, but they start catching on, like obviously. Go get like, your apples and pears. <laughs> like, go get your stairs? <laughs> <laughs> no, go up the stairs. Number four, give and take. Ben! <laughs> Give and take. Wait, bake, bake, make. Um, no. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let me grab a give and take. Mm. I think it's like food, like takeout. Oh dear, wrong again, Ben. Give and take, that means cake. Oh, I could do with some cake right about now. Give and take sounds like cake, but like in a napkin that you just kind of like grab and go, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Number five, last one. Fife and drum. What do we think about that one, cockers? Fife and drum. Bum, gum, gum, Fife and drum. Lum, tum, lum. Hum. Fife and drum. Hum. Hey, 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 Jum, Mum, 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 Mum. Well, fife and drum, that means bum! Ha 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 ha! Bum! Yeah! Drum! I said bum! Like bum, like Yo, these like mics work, like right? Bum. These mics work? These mics I will be bum. my witness. Can somebody I put looked, subtitles? I looked at Katie and said, I think it's bum. I'm bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I want subtitles when they go, money, it's money, it's money. It's if money, these mics. Money. Money. <laughs> single thought <laughs> is popping. <laughs> Now we're going to have a go at our best British accents. 
You be the judge. Should I go first? Hello, my name is Katie. I play Lily on the next step. I think that I will win this challenge because I think that the efforts that they're going to try to attempt is not going to be up to par. Um, I think that I have a great example of what the British accent should sound like when I listen to my parents talk, so I think that I would be the best out of everyone else. I feel like pants is a cheat code. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going next. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to go after that because... Of course. I don't know if I'm saying anything right, but... Slate, slate. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi. I, I need like a sentence. <laughs> Briar does not sound British, but anyways, Briar hopefully you can get some taste from those words. <laughs> Listen, I would love to stay in chat, but I've got a football match, so I'll catch y'all later, innit? That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so um, you lot, I already went first, so I'm gonna go next. Um, what did I even talk about? Uh, today for breakfast, I had scrambled eggs, baked beans, maybe like a croissant or something, and then I had yogurt or granola, and like some raisins and that. It was really good, <laughs> like it was. I feel like this might be slightly offensive to people watching, so apologise in the... See, there we go. Apologise. Now for the results of the British quiz. Drum roll, please. In fourth place, we have... A Ben. Really? <laughs> Again? <laughs> ben received a solid five points. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> two. Oh, oh. In second place, there's a tie. Third. Oh. oh, he's not me. Drum roll, please. We done. have, with both of these contestants coming in at a seven points, Noah and Breyer. <laughs> Meaning, the winner oh of the God. British challenge with nine points. Noah, may you crown me. <laughs> Okay, okay. We tied, okay. I declare myself a winner of the United King Dark. <laughs> <laughs>